Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, a big warm welcome if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber. Nice to see you back. Well, I've been really, really unwell. Thus, not much effort today, I'm afraid. I've had a really bad sickness and diarrhea bug, flipping egg virus. Anyway, so I bought some of this stuff already and I've not been able to film it because I've just felt too ill. But I'm starting to feel a bit more with it again now. So Audi makeup. So I've done two visits. I'll link this into another video, which I did a little while ago with some of the bits that I'd already bought. Um, our local Audi, for some reason, whenever I get there, I seem to have missed all the best stuff. But not this time. I went on a Friday evening, in fact, last Friday, and I reckon it might have only just been put out on the Thursday, so a day later. Um, and I got not one, not two, not three, but five items. Absolutely delighted. And there was plenty more. They had skincare, they had... Uh, Oh, all sorts. Anyway, let's go through what I did buy. Let's start with skincare first. So pick this one up. So it's the Lecura range, which is Audi's range, if you're not familiar with it. And um, I was actually stood talking. I had a chat with a lady in there, another customer, and I must have been stood talking to her about 20 minutes about all the different bits and bobs that she tried, what she recommended. And this was one of the items that she recommended to me. I had already picked it up, but I said, well, I'm definitely going to get it now. So this is the Lecura Refining and Mattifying Pink clay exfoliating face scrub um now normally i know they do a um is it a hot cloth cleanser which is supposed to be very popular but i didn't want to go too crazy because i have got quite a lot of skincare products on the go at the moment but i just thought i get this just to see what it looked like and she did say it was really good and it's an exfoliating face scrub now i normally use clinique's um I usually use their facial wash and then they've got an exfoliator in the pep start range that I absolutely love but it's I think it's about 15 pounds a tube so if I can find something easy, a bit cheaper I'm all for that so this one came in at 2 .99. let's get it out and have a little look at it I'm quite intrigued Ooh. right okay so um oh Oh, that's fragranced. What does that say that's got in it? Plum. Australian kakadu plum. <laughs> Bamboo macadamia. Mango steen. And pomegranate. Well, 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 that's quite a combination, isn't it? I have to say, I'm not overly keen on that. No offence, but it smells a bit like a grandma's perfume. Hmm, that's not the fragrance for me. Anyway, let's give it a little... Whoa, that is coarse. That has got some big old bits in it. Can you see? I don't know if it's coming up on the screen. It's got like... Black bits of what I can only describe as looking like dirt. <laughs> Wowzers. Yeah, that's pretty, um, that's pretty abrasive. Anyway, we'll look forward to giving that a go. Not keen on that smell in the slightest. I keep sniffing my arm, don't I? But um, hmm, we'll see how I get on with that. If any of you have tried that, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. But for 2 99 I'm willing to give that a go. I'll just read you what it says on the back. Uh, this dual action exfoliating face scrub and mask absorbs oil. I don't have a massive problem with oil. And helps to refine pores. Don't have a massive problem with big pores. Uh, formulated with pink clay. And then all those other bits I said earlier. Oh, and castor beads. That castor? That must be the bits that are, what I said was grit. Castor beads to provide a gentle physical exfoliation for softer and smoother skin. In just two weeks, this product will help, remove, uh, will help improve the condition of your skin. Well, I'll certainly give it a go. So the other four items I got were makeup um let's talk about this one first then so this is a loose setting powder uh i don't use loose setting powder i've bought 
uh, one of those banana powders and keep trying to find this sort of product to see if I need to give it a go. Um, the Laura Mercier one's supposed to be fantastic, but it also has a fantastic price tag of about £25. Whereas this one came in at £4.99. Um, I think they have different colours actually. I've gone for light medium and it's a 25 gram pot. Let's get it out of the box and have a look. Crikey, that's a big old pot, but it's not got that much product in it. Uh, packaging. I have to say it's a bit cheap actually. It feels a little bit, bit plasticky. Um, it, the design looks nice. It's very simple. It's got all the information on the bottom. So if you display your makeup, I suppose that's quite a nice one to, to look at because it's nice and uh, finished, but it feels a little bit plasticky. Anyway, let's get it out. Ah, okay, thankfully, it's got one of the uh, safety stickers on it. Let's uh, take that off. Right, okay, got that off. Let's pop a bit in the, uh, in the lid. Okay. Now, uh, like I said, I've not used loose powder before. So, can somebody let me know how I'm supposed to use it and when I'm supposed to put it on? Uh, I think it's either... I know they do all this baking thing now, don't really want to get into that. I'm hoping it's just to set your makeup, but I'm not sure. I presume it's once you've put your foundation and if you wear concealer on before you then put uh, your bronzer, highlighter, blush, that sort of thing. But let's get a big old brush and have a go in it. I happen to have a large powder brush. How convenient. Right, let's give it a spin. Right, that's taken up most of the product. Let's pop it on the old face. Now I haven't really got much makeup on, so yeah. Sort of took the shine off a bit, hasn't it? Let's have a little bit more. Actually, that feels quite nice. I think, um, like today, when I've not got any foundation or anything on, and like I say, get, I do get a little bit... Um, I haven't got oily or greasy skin, but I do get a little bit shiny across the old nose. My concern is stuff like this getting in the old fine lines and accentuating them. That's why I've sort of steered clear of anything like this before. But I'm thinking if this is just like a, a mineral sort of powder, I should be okay. Um, I've used the mineral veil from Bare Minerals before. I did used to use that a lot, um, but then I started finding that was that was welling in the old creases a bit so that's why i've stopped using it but yeah that feels nice let's have a little look at the product no fragrance i love smelling something as you may well know yeah that feels pretty nice actually it's quite pale which did i get i went for the light to medium but obviously you, you warm that up with your bronzers etc but that is that has got pretty pretty nice coverage actually. You can probably see it better there on there than you can on my face. Well, actually, I think you can see it on my face a bit as well. Hmm, very impressed with that. I look forward to giving it a go. Some somebody can let me know how I'm supposed to use it. So I think for four ninety nine, that's a bit of a hit. I'm very impressed with that one. Mascara next. If you've been on my channel for quite a while, what's that? Like a worm. Uh, you'll know I'm a massive mascara fan, absolutely love mascara. Mainly waterproof, but again, the lady I was talking to, singing the praises of this stuff, so I thought, yeah, let's get it, let's get a go on that. So it's the uh, Too Legit, bit of a uh, rip-off of Benefit. In fact, a lot of this stuff that they've brought out is um, very close to some of Benefit's stuff. I'm surprised they're going crazy, I'm not surprised they're going crazy. Right, let's get this out of... The packet. Looking forward to seeing what the brush is like on this because it looks like my kind of brush on the back. Very nice packaging, isn't it? I like it. So this comes in at five ninety nine. So it's actually not that cheap as mascaras go. When you think how much some of Primarchs are. So here it is out of the packaging. I really like that colour. That's that's a lovely uh, sort of striking little bottle, isn't it? So let's have a look. Yeah, that's a really good brush for me. I love uh, a nice big b bushy brush there. And then I love the bits at the end, the spiky bits are great for catching the tiny little, um, 
lashes. I have got my mascara on, as you can see, but I'm going to see if I can put a bit on top because I haven't got a massive amount. Uh, I had my lashes tinted and um, lifted not long ago, and I've hardly got any mascara on. It's great. Right, I've just got a mirror here. Just have a go. Probably not really um, fair for me to make that much comment on that because I've already got mascara on from earlier on in the day. So it's not really a fair trial, is it? But as you can see, um, yeah, I like it. I do find with mascaras that uh, I prefer to have... I don't like to rate a mascara until I've used it probably about three or four times. Once I've either got used to the brush or... The consistency of the product i don't know but i never go off one first time i don't think it's i don't know i just find that i need to wear it in a bit so um yeah i can't really comment on that but i've got high hopes for it because i love the shape of the brush really like that packaging 5.99 in black and then finally these two now they had three different uh types of eyeshadow these do look quite similar, but I just couldn't decide which one to get. So I got both and I thought, well, if they are too similar, I could maybe give one away as a present. So I've gone for Essential and Nui. Let's have a look at this one first. These were three ninety nine dollars each. So this is the Essential one and I shall do some swatches for you. Right, so this is in a little metal case. That's nice, isn't it? Quite like that packaging. So you've got a lovely nice mirror, a little applicator. Let's just get rid of those so we don't drop them. So you've got six colours and we've got vanilla, orchid, lilac, not very lilac uh, khaki, champagne and charcoal. So you've got a mixture of matte, shimmer and satin, um, different types of eyeshadow in there. And then I'll get the other one out as well to see how similar it is. So this is the Nui. So that's a grey. So these are uh, more like what you'd use to create a smoky eye. So you've got fossil, thunder, slate, violet, iron and mallow. Really like those. Let's see um, what sort of consistency and quality these are. Right, I'm just going to go for a bit of mallow. Hmm, not fantastic. Not bad. Let's go for a bit of fossil. So that's um, more of a satiny one. Fossil is a shimmery. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, they're quite subtle, actually. I, I was expecting, because that's quite a dark colour, I was expecting that to come off a bit more. Um, we'll go for violet. Mm, very violety. It looks more like black. It looks pretty purpley coloured on the uh, in the palette. They're not bad though. I have to say, look, they do look um, quite pigmented actually. Yeah, I like those. Very nice. Yeah, so for three ninety nine, I think that's quite a nice little palette. Uh, nice little gift that one. And I shall swatch a couple of these as well. Uh, let's go on here for, let's go for vanilla, which is this end, which is like a yellowy colour. As one would expect for vanilla, a bit like custard. Oh, that's nice. It's quite, actually, that's not great on my skin because it's about the same colour. <laughs> Sorry, that's not very helpful. Let's go for a darker one. Right, let's go for lilac. This is an odd colour. It, it looks it looks brown. Oh no, it does. Yeah, it has got a bit of a, a violety tone to it. And then I'm gonna try the khaki, a bit of khaki green. Yeah, that one's nice as well. That sort of, it's not overly green, but it has got a nice, it's got a bit of a bronze shade to it. I like that one. And then we'll go for, let's do one more, champagne. Everybody likes a bit of champagne, don't they? Well, most people. 
So this is um, again. Oh, now that didn't look like it did in the tin. Hmm. Right, so, yeah, I'm really impressed with both of those. Obviously, won't be giving them away as a present now. Now I've stuck my fingers through them. But for 3 pounds great for a little gift or great for a little treat for yourself. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to cut in now with um, another video that I filmed previously from another haul. So I'll pop that in right now. Saw a couple of items in my local Audi today. Namely, these BB creams. I love a BB cream. I like the Home Bargains BB cream. Absolutely rate this BB cream by Home Bargains. $1.99. Love it. So I thought, considering I got on so well with that, I might pick these up to give them a go. So I've gone for, it's the Lacura brand, and I've gone for a medium. Uh, so it says it even, if you're not sure what a BB cream is, it's um, a lighter, I think it's beauty, it stands for beauty balm. If you know, leave me a note down in the comments below. I know CC's colour corrector, BB I'm not sure. Um, but if you're not used to using this, if you want something maybe in the summer or uh, when you're not wearing a full face of makeup, you just want something to blur a few imperfections, BB cream is really, really good. It sort of contains a touch of foundation, as it says on the wrapper, and helps to cover lines and leaves your skin looking luminous. So I'm thinking you don't necessarily need a primer under it. So just, you know, if you nip into the shop or on the school run, just something quite light, a BB cream's brilliant. So this one is medium in colour. And then I've got this one, which is again a BB cream. It's the Summer Glow Face Cream. So I think this one contains a little bit of a sort of a tanning agent. Now, whether that's uh, a permanent one or well, not permanent forever, but one that lasts a few days or whether it's just a wash off, uh, it doesn't actually say boosts healthy bronzed summer glow. So I presume it's got some sort of bronzer in it maybe and both of those have got an SPF of 15. In fact I'll take this one out of the wrapper and just have a look at it for you. Of course it's a decent size bottle look at that 50 ml. Uh, these were 2 .99. probably for me this I might need to wait to use this until the summer actually because my face isn't that tanned anymore but it's got like a nice little sheen to it. As you can see it's not overly full coverage it's quite a light light coverage yeah like that i think that would give you a real sort of healthy glow actually it is quite dark look at that so i shall look forward to giving those a go i think they will go in the uh stock for next summer and then i saw this so if you've been here for a while, you'll know my love of Clinique facial products. Uh, this looks like it's Audi's version of it, the dupes. So it's the Lacura three-step care system. One, two, three. You've got facial soap, clarifying lotion, and a moisturizing lotion. And this in the sale was $3.99, down from, it was only $5.99 anyway, or $6.99. But yeah, it was in the sale, so I thought, I'm gonna pick it up and have a look. So let's get it out. So these are obviously not full size, but great for holidays. So you've got number one, facial soap. Uh, so this is a facial soap with aloe vera, removes dirt and impurities for refreshed, clean feeling skin. So that'll be nice. That's a lovely size to take on holiday, 50 mil. Clarifying lotion. Uh, Clinique has started calling theirs something else, actually. They don't call it clarifying lotion anymore because they've taken the alcohol out of it. So maybe this has still got, let's have a look if it's got alcohol in it. Hmm. Doesn't say. This is clarifying lotion with witch hazel extract and hydroluric acid. Tones and gently refreshes for smoother, cleaner feeling skin. 
and that one is 100 mil so that's a limit if you're going through uh, customs just with hand luggage but you're okay with that one and then the moisturizer I'm really really keen to see if this is as good as the Clinique's so moisturizing lotion with sesame oil and oat extract strengthens skins protective barrier and provides rich hydration all day long let's get a little bit of this out of the packet oh oh my god I've made a right mess no it's not as thick as um oh it's gone everywhere wait hmm, i have to put that one down I'm quite sure what that smells of don't know it doesn't really smell of sesame or oats anyway yeah that feels nice that to me i'm not sure if that really feels like a face lotion that feels more like a body lotion. So, yeah, I'm not sure. But we'll give it a go and see if it's any good. Okay, so that's it. All outed out. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty decent load of um, purchases made there, isn't it? Very, very impressed with Audi stuff so far. Uh, she'll certainly keep an eye out for some more. Um, be really interested to hear from you to see if you've tried any of it and what your opinions are or if there's any products that I need to keep my eye out for to give a go. So if you've enjoyed this, please give me a like, a, a thumbs up. We don't like the thumbs down, if you don't mind, please. And uh, if you've not already, subscribe to the channel. And um, I try to upload between two and three videos a week, all different types, hauls, some vlogs, you know, the usual. So I'll hopefully see you again on another video soon. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.